Hey guys, how is everyone? I hope you're doing well, staying warm. Quick little video here. Um, we spent probably a little more money than we should have in the last week on porting supplies, but um, my old Dremel Flex shaft has seen its better days. It's still working good. Just the bushings and that hand piece are kind of wearing out. Um, the old Harbor Freight Fordham knockoff is still working great. The pedal on it kind of messed up a while back. It's either wide open or nothing, but I usually keep it set up for cartridge rolls anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, if you've seen the title, you don't have to ask what we have here. Um, this is actually the real deal Fordham kit um, sold by CC Specialty Tools. This is their it's about mid-range in their prices. Two-stroke porting and polishing kit um, was the complete kit. Um, got our little tiny right angle hand piece. That is just a little mandrel put in there. I'm not sure why it was there. I've already took it out once, but it was in it when I got it out of the box. Um, I think the head of this thing, they said, was something like 25 millimeters, but as you can see, it is tiny. And they say you can do transfer ports on a 33cc cylinder with that. Um, I don't have anything that small, but do you have a 51cc saw we're about to do? Uh, we may start on that tomorrow evening, but um, come with your straight hand piece as well. Um, I think it's got a quarter inch collet in it, and this one accepts eight inch uh, burrs and mandrels and whatever you want to put in it, I guess. The uh, grinder itself come with like some little sanding pads and things just for doing cleanup work. Um, I opted for this kit because uh, it came with, gosh, I don't remember exactly how many, either 60 or 90 pieces. Um, we'll open it up and show you what we got. Um, let me pull that motor down and show you guys right fast before I get started. It's just hanging on a hook. If I can get it back off. This thing is super heavy duty. The only thing I could compare it to is like the motor on a bench grinder or if you've ever had a washing machine or dryer apart and if you're a homeowner you probably have. <laughs> It's kind of comparable to something like that. Um, the foot pedal's the same way if you've ever been around any big industrial sewing machines. Sadly, I have. <laughs> um, it's kind of what you would find there. It's a big uh, metal pedal, or I'm going to call it steel because of how heavy duty it is. Pedal itself probably weighs five pounds. I'm used to the little cheap plastic ones. Um, it is variable seed speed and works really well. You can cut super slow or work your way up to wide open. Um, they advertise that motor to have full torque even at its lowest speed. We will try that out. Um, there's a lot of port work in a lot of the really aggressive cutters like Aluma Hogs. You should really run at low speeds so they don't clog it up. Um, but back to what I was doing, we're going to get into this. Um, got a lot of projects coming, guys. And if you've seen this just because of the porting kit and you're new to my channel, I welcome you. Uh, if you want to subscribe, you don't have to, but... We do do quite a bit of two-stroke porting here, mainly chainsaws. I do work on other things and share those videos sometimes as well. I have several different playlists you're welcome to go through. i um, got a tube of Fordham grease. I did check that cable before I ran it. It is already greased. These baggies are not labeled that I can see, but they're all about blind as a bat, so... <laughs> They could, now well, they're not labeled. We have cartridge rolls. Um, again, if you've watched my videos, I preach cartridge rolls. Um, if you've not used them, order you a mandrel and spend some money and get a good pack a quarter inch or five sixteenths by inch and a half long 
cartridge rolls and they'll do 90% of what we do on saws. Um, they just do an amazing job. I'd about say that you, once you use them on a, uh, a real fine grit one on an exhaust port, you wouldn't even have to polish. I hope I have you guys in the frame. More cartridge rolls. I love cartridge rolls. I actually just got in a big uh, kit from Summit Racing. Figure out what drawer I put them in over here. Basically, about what we're unboxing here is just comes with mandrels, rolls, and everything. You can pick that kid up at Summit Racing. With shipping and all, I think it was about 50 bucks. And I have baggies full of these things already over here. They are not cheap. A lot of people don't like them because they're kind of expensive. You can buy cheaper ones, but I just recommend you steer clear of them. Um, what do we have in this baggie? Those are like uh, rubber polishing stones, I'm pretty sure. Um, they got like an abrasive in them. I have used those before, but not a whole lot. But they are a really fine polishing stone. first burr or D burr <laughs> that looks like a double cut quarter inch carbide burr long shank that probably cost you 20 25 bucks by itself I know it will I bought them before I have some here that I've bought from a Matco tool truck years ago. I think I paid like a hundred bucks and got four little short carbide cutters. And I still have, I want to say two of them here and may have loaned the other two out. Don't do that, don't loan your tools out unless you know whoever it is is gonna give them back or you can go get them back. And there we have a little small oval headed cutter It's also a double cut, which means they're not going to be really aggressive. I think here's our eighth inch ones. Hope this isn't boring some of you guys to death. Oval head, double cut. When I say double cut, we've got double the amount of teeth on it. And those can be expensive. You can buy the sets of them off eBay. I think I bought a set that had 10 or 12 in it for it like 10 or 15 bucks. They are okay, but don't expect them to last two or three years. Um, and I've actually had them go to chattering and wobbling and bend. I had one almost tear my finger off. And we have another double cut. Like I said, you can spend a lot of money buying these things alone. So I just, once I looked and seen what all was in that kit, I told my wife, I said, well, I think that might be the best way to go because I just paid that kit. This is from Summit Racing after shipping and handling taxes. was like a little over 50 bucks. And then I bought 50 inch and a half long quarter inch cartridge rolls. I'm wanting to say those were like 31 bucks. Um, but we had some eBay bucks saved up, and I think they only costed me 10 bucks to get them here. But 
my point is, is you can get a lot of money in this stuff, and uh, this mandrel on this alone, it's eighth inch mandrel, goes down to eighth inch chuck or call it. Um, you have 10, 15 bucks in just one of those alone. You're welcome to go online and price this stuff too if you think I'm crazy. But it can all get very expensive. What do we have here? Okay, these are really neat. It's slotted mandrel. You put a piece of sandpaper or emery cloth in that. Um, you can buy it on rolls or you can just cut pieces of sandpaper and use it for polishing. That's something I had here and lost years ago. But I always use like buffing pads or wheels to polish with. We have our little short quarter inch. It's a uh, when I say short, it's just threaded on the end for your short cartridge rolls. Quarter inch mandrel. Like I said, I sit and added all this up and said to myself it'd be crazy not to just go ahead and opt for the kit that came with it all. Another mandrel, quarter inch, long shank some of your uh, longer cartridge rolls. I really hope we have some eighth inch ones in here. Kit was supposed to have them. There we go, there's our eighth inch, just like what was on the uh, Harbor Freight setup that I showed you. Again, 10, 15 bucks, just order one of those and get it to your door. We actually have another shorter quarter inch mandrel. And I'm about positive that's what we use on those rubber polishing stones. That is all we have in the bag. Other than a slip telling what everything is. We're not going to get that out and read it. <laughs> so I hope this isn't boring to some of you guys, but just thought I'd share it. Our portums kind of went up to a different level now. Um, this uh, right angle piece was 90% of the reason for buying this kit. Um, it is all Fordham. I'm not sure about this right angle attachment though. Um, seems like maybe this bottom piece is Fordham and then this is uh, another attachment that goes on it separately I think. Yeah it unscrews off the top. You can buy all these pieces on their website. To my understanding, these are kind of fragile, but not as fragile as like the dental hand pieces you see some guys using. And I just wasn't wanting to go that cheap. Um, some guys have good luck with those, but I'm rough on tools. I'm sure I would have broke the dang thing first time. <laughs> And if you don't know what I'm talking about, look into like a DIY 90 degree hand piece or something. There's probably half a dozen videos on people using dental hand pieces to try to port saws with and other engines. If you're using one and it works, I'm happy for you, but I'm just the kind of guy that would like to have the right tool for the job. Um, I mainly wanted this just so I could get in and play with my transfer port angles and get those ports cleaned up a lot better. Um, and to my understanding, you're able to chamfer a lot better and easier with this right hand or right angle <laughs> hand piece. Uh, okay guys, I'm going to try to wrap this up. It's getting cold out here. I'm hoping I've got enough to put you guys a video clip together and I didn't bore somebody to death but um 
Got lots of projects lined up for several different saws. Um, just stay tuned. Let me know what you think about this stuff and how crazy I am for buying it. And all you guys have a good one.